In first line, the first treatment that we give to patients with metastatic squamous cell lung cancer, there are two major changes. One is that the chemotherapy that we have been given for quite some time, and for many people this is platinum combined with gemcitabine, that if you add an EGFR targeting antibody such as nesetumumab, we have a solid large clinical trial now that adding nesetumumab to platinum gemcitabine improves progression-free and overall survival in patients with squamous cell carcinoma. The difference is modest, but each step is probably important for these patients because there has been very little progress over the last 10 to 20 years, much in contrast with patients with adenocarcinoma. And then the other thing, of course, first presented at the ESMO meeting in Copenhagen a few months ago, is that in patients that have highly expressing PDL1 expressing, PDL1 is a marker for immunotherapy with uh, checkpoint inhibitors. So patients with squamous cell carcinoma that have high expression of PDL1 under the microscope, it means you have at least 50% of your cells that do express PDL1 protein on their surface. Then pembrolizumab as a first line treatment was shown to be superior to chemotherapy. And certainly for patients with squamous cell carcinoma, where there are little alternatives, in contrast with adenocarcinoma, this is highly welcome. And so this is the first line setting. And then in the, the relapse setting, second line, third line as well, immunotherapy also there has quite changed the field because there are now already four large randomized control trials that say that immunotherapy works better than docetaxel chemotherapy for most of the patients with squamous cell carcinoma. I think for adenocarcinoma we need to be a bit more careful because for adenocarcinoma there are other treatment opportunities. So there PDL1 is probably important in adenocarcinoma. I am a believer that PDL1 matters for adenocarcinoma. But for squamous cell carcinoma where there are little alternatives, the lapse treatment with nivolumab certainly has been a big progress for these patients.